yeah, I'm still disappointed. Even with my incredibly low expectations, I'm still disappointed. And we will continue to critique this administration as well as the ineffectiveness of Democrats in the Senate in particular, also um, in the House. And, you know, just remember what you wanted out of this administration when you voted for it. Remember the promises that they made of accountability and don't excuse it because when you excuse it, another phenomenon happens, which is people end up thinking that the Trump era was not as bad and not as dangerous as it actually was. And they do this because they have this circular logic where they're like, well, you know, if Biden is a good guy, if his administration is full of good people, he would have done something about the bad people. He would have done something about these abusive, sadistic criminals who act with utter impunity. He's not doing anything. The FBI is not doing anything. Congress is doing very little. Ergo, the bad people must not have been that bad. I must have imagined it. I must have exaggerated it. And this is how George W. Bush became rehabilitated, because people wanted to forgive Obama and his administration for letting them off the hook with their war crimes. And this is how history becomes rewritten again and again to favor and excuse the abuses of the powerful. And we cannot do that now. We cannot afford that for our safety. And it's also incredibly disrespectful for everyone who has suffered under these regimes. And it's very relevant, I think, uh, to our discussion of Afghanistan, of this 20-year destructive debacle that has caused so much pain and suffering uh, and has now come to an end and is the fault of you know multiple administrations as well as ones that even came before the war. And you need to keep that context uh, in your mind whenever you're examining any atrocity. And you need to keep the impetus to take responsibility uh, on the people who have power now. You know, they might have inherited these problems from somebody else who actually caused them, uh, but it's still their obligation to handle the situation right.